Um, I'm feeling great, honestly. Um, it's just nice to be active. You know, I'm back doing what I love to do. Um, I haven't got serious weight cuts, you know, where I have to kind of put my life on hold for 12 weeks. So, uh, yeah, five weeks ago, you know, I fought Charles Rosa and now I've got a charge of them. And, you know, how did it feel coming off that win? Because you had loads of setbacks going into that fight. You know, one pulled out, you had an injury that you were coming back from, and then, of course, going to, to a new weight division as well. You know, what were the whole kind of feelings prior to, uh, you know, following that win? So, I think it's everything happens for a reason, and I think that the fight where I was meant to fight um, Vince Marlitz and it pulled out, you know, I think that was a sign to move up a weight. You know, because obviously my performance against Charles Rosa was perfect. You know, I don't think I could have done better other than getting the, uh, the finish, of course. Um, so yeah, I think everything was supposed to happen and here we are now. So what are your feelings going into this weekend fighting again in Europe, close to home? Uh, you've got a new opponent at Featherweight. What are your feelings going into this weekend? I was really excited. You know, I'm back and I've got an opponent who comes to bang, you know, stylistically this is a perfect matchup for me, it's a perfect matchup I think for the fans as well, so um, yeah, two more sleeps and then uh, the fun part. And what do you make of, of, uh, of Charles Jordan? You know, he has previously fought at lightweight a while ago and now obviously you're facing him at featherweight. How, how, what do you make of him, how do you see this playing out? I think he's a very talented fighter, you know, obviously he's ranked above me, that's exactly what I want, you know, I'm, the way I see it, I've got a three to four year period, I think, now where I'm going to be in my prime. So if there's ever a time to, you know, take it up a notch and start chasing that belt, it's now. And, you know, Charles Jordan, I think, is one of the best strikers in the division. Um, so I think a good win over him puts me in that maybe top 15 rankings. And, you know, if it doesn't, then I'll just keep knocking, uh, knocking out whoever I've got over and um, eventually get shot. And you see this definitely as a, as a permanent move for you in this division? Yeah, yeah, 100%. You know, the cast of Bantamweight were just too much for me. Um, I won't close the door on 135 if there's, you know, a matchup that, you know, the UFC are happy for me to take and that I'm happy to take. But there's no way that I'm competing four times a year at um, 135. And what do you think of Charles in terms of the skill set and how you match up with him? Um, I think he's very talented, but I see a lot of holes in his game. You know, uh, I like. Well, I guess we're both strikers, you know, we both can grapple, of course, he's a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Um, you know, I'm not going to say that neither one of us would go for a takedown or anything like that. But in the striking department, he's very dangerous, but he's also very reckless. You know, I think he leaves himself very open with certain things he throws, and, you know, I'm aiming to capitalise on that. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be a good old-fashioned human game of chess. Nathaniel, earlier today, I think it was, you put out a tweet saying you were feeling the best physically that maybe you ever have going into a fight. I'm just curious if you can kind of contrast that to other fights you've had recently and, you know, have you done anything in training that's led to this? So I haven't done anything different, but obviously I've not come away. So from after the Charles Rosa fight, we just stayed in the gym. So I'm fitter, you know, the numbers don't lie, I'm hitting better numbers on my cardio, I'm faster, I'm more powerful. Um, and I'm feeling good, you know, I'm feeling strong, I'm feeling healthy, I've got a little bit of a weight cut to do tonight. Um, but yeah, at the moment I'm feeling like the best in front of the wood that could possibly be going into that fight Saturday night. Um, last couple of days and, you know, it's time to go to work. And this is somewhat of a quick uh, turn around after the last one. And how important was it for you to get back in quickly after, you know, all the time that you lost in the past? If, for me, it's everything, you know, a lot of people ask us, are you nervous to fight, you know, if I'm, if I'm honest, no, this is what I do for a living, you know, I've been in this game for 14 years now, so this is what I enjoy to do, the bit that I don't enjoy is the weight cuts and sometimes the grueling training sessions, but now I haven't got to worry so much about the weight and that makes the training sessions easier, so, you know, straight after that fight, I was on the treadmill and I thought, why, why go away and you know, put weight on and get fat, you know, I may as well stay in shape and just do it again. Get paid again and, uh, yeah, I get to come to Paris, you know, I've never been here before, so it's a great experience and if I'm honest, I'm living the dream, so uh, regardless, I think it's a win-win for me. Last one for me, your opponent's French-Canadian, not French, but the fans will probably be in his corner. Do you rebel playing spoiler a little? Uh, to be honest, I don't mind, you know, um, as long as the crowd have got a buzz, I'm happy, so, uh, 
I'd rather be booed than it just be dead silent in there. Um, but I'm hoping that you know we've got a lot of English fans in there as well. So um, uh, I'm excited, and you know, regardless of what the crowd think, at the end of the day, it's just me and Charles in there. That's my that's how it. Thank you. Nathaniel, just a, another quick one. Uh, Charles was in here earlier and he said that he thinks he can break you mentally. Just wanted to know what your response was to that. I don't know where he's got that from. You know, if he's seen any of my fights, uh, I think it's safe to say that that's not going to happen. So, how do you feel about fighting Europe not twice in a row in a short, short period of time? Does it make it easier also for you to stay active? Yeah, much easier, much more comfortable, no jet lag, um, less to worry about, and uh, yeah, if I'm honest, I feel spoiled fighting in Europe. Thanks. Thank you, guys.